What's up guys, welcome to today's video guys, and today we're going to be talking about a red zone offense for the Seattle Seahawks playbook. Alright guys, so most of the time in red zone you're going to be seeing, you know, goal line or, you know, big time, you know, heavy run defense packages, like, you know, 4-4 too deep, something like that to stop you in the goal line. Well, the formation I like to use to uh, get some get a lot of stuff done here is the Pistol Jumbo Z out of this playbook, and... Uh, what we want to do here, I actually picked the wrong play. But this is just, you know, this is for those situations where you're really, you know, back, you know, really, really close up in on the red zone. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to pick the play read option, and that's the play we're going to be using. Uh, the run audible down from here is the power row. You see here, just a standard power row. Now, the power row is good, and uh, typically, you know, you can punch it in with the power row against a standard 4 4 look. Uh, real quick, another thing that you can do, and these are just want to want to shout out some different things you can do, uh, real quick before we get in here, you know, before we get into the entirety of the video. But uh, one of the things you can do is motion to Sean Jackson over like this, and they may think of like a hitch route or something, and then just snap throw these zig routes to the tight ends, things like that. Um, another thing you could do is is the uh, Deshaun Jackson comeback route where you throw it and you kind of click onto it and try to swerve like we talked about in a video a couple while back. But the play that I really want to focus on is the read option. It's because there's no read defender. And when there's no read defender, it's very easy to get the edge. Now, you see that we're going to be running it to the right. So I'm going to want to motion Deshaun Jackson to the left to clear out that space. So I'm going to motion Deshaun Jackson over, clear out that space, and you see that Michael Vick is going to have a nice opportunity to punch in that read option because there's no read defender and there's no way they can stop it typically. It's almost as if it's quarterback wrap all over again. Here you see we now have a read defender, so we have to give the ball off. But when we, that's when we run it to the ace side with only one tight end. But because we have two tight ends in the same spot, you see that we're able to not have a read defender and take advantage of the numbers game and Michael Vick's speed and, and try to get him beat to the uh, red zone there. Okay? So that's part one of this. Part two of this is, well, okay, they may base a line so that when I motion to Sean Jackson over, you'll see now, watch, you'll see when I go to motion to Sean Jackson over, now they have that guy on the outside, and now I have you know, a little bit less of an advantage in the numbers game. Now, now it becomes a one-on-one -on -one with me in that corner, which I don't like that matchup. Well, what you do is you adjust to that by snapping the ball before Jackson gets over. So here I see he doesn't follow him, and then I just snap the ball. And obviously if the middle is wide open, you could give it to LaShawn McCoy. There I did it a little bit prematurely. But, I mean, here, look. So here you go. Here he doesn't follow over. Now it's, you know, now it's much better of an opportunity for me to run this. Another thing you could do is maybe flip the play. So by playmaker in the run to the right, we're actually going to flip it, motion this fullback over here. It should take away the key. Now we're able to take away the key and punch it in with Michael Vick, things like that. Okay. But I really like this formation. You can run the strong power out of this if you wanted to and kind of work that if you want, if they're maybe giving you the outside because a lot of times they'll pinch up, like the 4-4 four four will pinch up. But, I mean, you see here, I mean, just a phenomenal play here just to try to punch it in. Just try to get a quick hitter. Now, um, if you, you know, obviously here, you can actually not audible out of the jumbo. But what you can do, like I said before, is you can open up the pass or open up the run by snap throwing zigs on the red zone, things like that. Those little nuances are, you know, lim limitless with this formation. But I really wanted to focus on this read option because there's no read defender. It allows you to get to the edge very easily. And if you, if they don't base a line, it really is very difficult to stop this play because you just have that edge. You know, I mean, there I snapped the ball a little bit too quick and Maxwell recovered. But here, watch. I'm going to snap it. Maxwell gets all the way across formation. There's no way that he can recover back there to get that edge sealed. And so now, I mean, it's just a one-on-one -on -one matchup. There they block shed it and got me because of the Seahawks. But, you know, you put in some tackles that tied in, uh, maybe put Jason Peters out there. It just becomes a much difficult, more difficult play to stop, uh, you know, even than what we're seeing now. I mean, it, they're getting lucky with block shed. I mean, it's all it is. But, you know, I think this is just a really good red zone offense to use. The read option is really good. And uh, the ability to kind of, you know, combo combo with these strong powers 
Um, this is just a power O, but you can set the strong power as an audible and do stuff like that. But uh, that is the video. That's the Red Zone Offensive Tutorial, guys. Just wanted to make you a quick little video. Actually, no, I almost forgot this. I want to show you this one thing real quick. So one thing about this also is, like, you can put the tight ends on fades. So, like, if you put, like, Selleck on a fade here and just pass lead it to the right, you see how it gets that jump animation? So even more options with this. And it comes from having, you know, three, four tight ends that you can throw it to. There I uh, called the wrong play. But uh, let's see here. So we'll show you this. You see how you could throw those little quick fades? Now what you could do is you could throw a fade and a zig as well. It's like because you have two tight ends over there. So you could throw Selleck on a zig, Igawagnu on a fade. And then now you could, you know, you could hit Igawagnu on his little cut as well. Get that nice little jump animation on the inside. Another thing you could do, maybe if you're running the ball and you, you know, you really want to, um, maybe run, maybe they're weak to the left. You can motion a Wagner over to that left, run that power in behind him. Now you have even more blockers. Your numbers advantage are limitless. Try this formation out for the red zone, guys. This is the Seattle Seahawks offensive scheme. We'll see you tomorrow with the full gameplay.